Wait, do we believe this? Regina George. How do I even begin to explain Regina George? She's the queen bee. The star. Those other two are just her little workers. But in reality, she is so much more than that. She's a cool girl. Men always use that, don't they? As their defining compliment. Cool girl is hot. Cool girl is gay. Cool girl is fun. It's an asexual utopia! Without love, you can save the world, save the world! Having seen the movie, are you, are you happy about Rose's arc? <laughs> The resistance prepares. All across the galaxy, mechanical genius joins with the muscle of our people, working to win for the ways of freedom. Freedom to think, to speak, to rise, live and plan with one's fellow man. Heroes everyone, heroes by the billion. People who abandon home and vocations that they may be ready to defend the Republic from the First Order. General Organa's resistance is our last line of defense against this menace. Many brave recruits have joined the cause. Meet Rose Tico, who experienced the horrors of Snoke's machinations first hand. After the heroic death of her sister, Rose saved the lives of many, including General Finn. Now she works with General Organa herself to discover a way to defeat the Final Order once and for all. Anyway, hello! On this channel we talk about ladies, and this series is all about how female characters were treated by this franchise. Today we're talking about how Rose Tico wraps up the trilogy. Oh, but it looks like my girl is only on screen for 76 seconds. What? How? So if you want a detailed discussion, watch this video about a movie that actually knew how to write a character-driven plot. But first, stick around to see what I can do with 76 seconds. In The Last Jedi, Rose taught us about the sides of the conflict and what it means to be a hero. In The Rise of Skywalker, we have an evil wizard and no understanding of how this affects the galaxy. You have to say it like that. So her absence is detrimental to the whole story. Rose had a journey in The Last Jedi, but none here. Got a trap. It's gonna be cool. This image got me hyped for the movie, but then Rose and Rey literally never speak. When? As the spiritual successor for Leia, I expected her to have something to do with the Resistance, but she doesn't, and her love story is abruptly ended. Hey, remember when a bunch of horrible fascists with brain worms targeted Rose? It's on every frequency. Then Kelly Marie Tran deleted her social media due to the harassment? And remember how official accounts did nothing about that? I sure do. <laughs> So I don't know if Rose does not appear in this film because Lucasfilm is filled with a bunch of spineless losers, or if JJ is such a bad writer that he cannot even end a story for characters he personally invented, let alone those he didn't. Regardless, Rose's lack of screen time in this movie is definitely the most offensive thing about it. Leia made you acting general. Whew, made it. Thank you for listening to me talk about this injustice. Join me next time to talk about one of JJ's own characters that he ruined. Please like, comment, subscribe, ring the bell, join my Patreon, buy me a coffee, all the things so you don't miss it. See you then.